Hi, it's Susie from Nail Care Education. One of my students and I were playing around with nails last night after class, and I've perfected this design I can't wait to show you. Let's get started. So this was inspired by a Christmas ball. You know how they have those beautiful designs sometimes in gold and silver and kind of swirls and stuff. So I was trying to get that idea. So I've got the base coat of this. This is a three step thing where you put the base coat on, the colors, and then the top coat, and it dries really fast. That's a great advantage, but in this case, it's a bit of a disadvantage and I'll show you why. So I've got the base coat on and now I'm gonna put the color coat on. And because I'm sort of focusing around the Christmas ornament, I'm going to use this beautiful, rich red. sort of see the glitter I have on the previous nails that I did. If you caught my video about the almond glitter design, uh, I finally got the other hand on, <laughs> so I'm excited about that. But now I'm covering it up to show you this design. But it's just polished so I can take it off. So I'm just going to do two coats of this. see it's starting to dry already so I'm gonna put a second coat on just because I want that really deep rich red so I've got the two coats on and I'm just gonna let it dry just a little bit this stuff dries really fast that's the advantage of this stuff it's a it's a great new line of OPI and it just dries fast but I am gonna put a clear coat in between. And I'll tell you why. The design coat that I'm gonna do on top of this, you'll see, it'll probably be more explanatory if I show it to you. So I'm gonna put a coat in between. It's like a buffer coat. So I'm using this clear coat as a buffer, and you'll see why. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry just a sec. You can see the bit of the shine of the glitter that I had on before, a little bit through there, but it doesn't matter, not for this design. Good old fashioned just blowing on it. Okay, so now I've got this really tiny the student actually had this and Pixel lent it to me. It's this really tiny paintbrush. I was using a big fat one before, but I was getting it done, but not quite as good as when I started using this. So this is what we're gonna do. So while this is dry, now you gotta work a little bit faster because you can't let this dry before you create the design. Now I have a little jar here full of remover. So I'm gonna use this remover sometimes to dip my paintbrush in here just to clean it off to continue the design and you'll see why. Okay, so here we go. I get the gold because it really lends to this design. I'm just gonna paint a really nice generous amount of gold right on top of the red. It's kind of weird, right? You gotta act fast because you don't want this to dry because it dries quick. And you start carving those real Christmassy type designs, those real kind of swirls you see on the Christmas balls. But don't waste any time, because it is drying up on you. You can see it's starting to dry up now. It's still working for me. Okay, it's really drying up now, so I'm gonna leave it. I don't wanna make it mad anymore. I think that's good. So I'm gonna let that dry a bit before I top coat it or anything, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ones. You can see it's 
see it's drying up already. I'm pushing it. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna leave that. Okay. Yeah, don't do it too thin. Do it on the uh, the generous thicker side. I'm just feeling that out now. The thicker I think, the better. Because I think when it's thinner, it might dry a little faster. And you can, with a little more pressure with the brush, you can actually make it a bit wider. That's good. Sometimes you can overdo a design. You kind of just kind of want to find it, do it, and leave it. If you overdo it, sometimes you can just make go too far and you just mess it up. It's hard if you're a perfectionist. There, I think I'll leave that one just like that. One more, the pinky. There we go. Just gonna leave it at that. That's cool. So right now I'm gonna top coat it. I got a little red in my brush there. You can see it's stained, but it's not affecting the design whatsoever. So I'm just putting a nice top coat on there just to secure the design. Make sure it's nice and shiny. That was quick and easy to do. Love it. That's Christmassy. Wow. Just hanging on the tree. <laughs> Let's check out the reveal shots. Well, like I say, that was Christmas inspired, but you could pretty much wear it any time of year. Thanks for joining me. It was a fun design to do. And I really appreciate all your comments that you're sending me on YouTube. I try to read every single one of them and I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon and I'll see you in the next video.